Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth. Sweat it to the truth. So over 50 libraries denied Kirk storybook to kids during story time hours. Watch this. So they wouldn't let you read this book? This book was banned in libraries? How controversial is this book? Well, it, it's a book that teaches biblical wisdom through the seasons of life to children and the value of growing the fruit of the spirit, like love, joy, kindness, patience, gentleness, self-control. And I wanted to do a book reading at a public library, and I was denied by over 50 woke libraries that have hosted drag queen story hours. Uh, one of the most outrageous denials was uh, Alameda County Public Library that said they didn't want that book teaching kids biblical values, um, while at the same time they're hosting a gender name change clinic tomorrow. And I'm thinking, wow. If uh, we're so committed to diversity, why am I being excluded? Why can't I use your facility to read my book? You're a library. If pushing an agenda had a face, a body, and a name to it, this would be it right here. Because you allow transgenders to come there and read their books and flaunt their stuff and do what they want to do and not let a, another man or woman, for that case of matter, come and read a book about biblical principles and preserving moral integrity. This is the type of world we're living in now to where everything is backward. Good is called evil and evil is called good. There's absolutely nothing wrong with him or her, with him or a woman coming to read a book that was written for kids about biblical principles. At the end of the day, when we look into the Bible, even skeptics and atheists, many would, many would agree that Jesus Christ was a good man. And if we cared anything about the future, the generations to come, if we cared anything about them, then we would want to instill within them uh, principles and godly values that will, that will help to preserve them in the, in the coming years. We don't teach children about drugs. We don't teach children about um, things that will ruin you know, unhealthy eating for that matter, or um, things that will cause harm to their body because we want to see them, for the most part, we want to see them healthy, we want to see them wealthy, we want to see them prosper. But they would rather teach diabolical doctrine and cause confusion to happen to these children all in the name of pushing an agenda. And we have to understand that what these, what these people are looking to do is tear down, is to tear down the foundation and framework and a, a, a fabric that was built into, was built into this society based on, based on family based on education, based on godly morals and values. These people would love to tear down that structure and build up something totally anti-God and anti-biblical and all in the name of liberation. So we as parents, we as people who stand on the word of God, and even if you don't stand on the word of God, but if you just know that if you know that morals and principles and truth is the way is the way to go. Speak out on that. Share this video and make yourself a video and let people know that we're taking the family back. We're taking the education systems back. We're taking our children back. 
government. You will not be the parents over our children. You will not, you will not um, tell our children what they can and cannot be if it's if it's not if it's not what we teach our children. You do not have that right. You do not have that say so. We as a family are an institution given by God. And the first, I might add, the first institution given by God. In this word, it wasn't the government. The family is the government. And if we just downplay that and allow these schools and allow these teachers, these counselors to be the parents over our children, our children, and do whatever it is that they want to do or how they see fit, then we're going to be kicked out. We're going to be kicked out. And they're going to be looked looked at. The state will be looked at as the guardians. And if we and if we have any common sense, we know that children are going to are only going to um, pull towards that. Which feels good to them, just like we do as human beings, as adults, we're going to naturally pull to what feels good to us at the time. So for a child to call himself a dog or a child to call himself a girl and the opposite and vice versa, if that was feels if that what feels good to them and you have a and you have an authority figure um that's promoting that, you know, advocating for it, then of course, then of course that child is going to lean or sway more to that because for one their minds are still being developed and they don't know any better so for instance if a child wants to eat candy all day they will because they don't know any better and if a parent or guardian whomever advocates for that that child not knowing any better is going to incline to what is um just what's best for them they feel at the time and so that's where we come in at as people to direct and guide these children in the way to go, not to teach them improperly. There is a right and a wrong way. And the Bible speaks about that. It talks, it says that there is a there is a path that seems right to a man, but leads to destruction. So we as people, people of God and people of truth, stand, we have to stand firm on the word and not allow not allow these not allow these government these uh, government figures authority teachers or whomever um instill these diabolical doctrines and practices into our into our children so we stand firm on the word of god and we take back what god the authority and power that god has given us god bless i love you all but it's the truth nothing but the truth put my hands on the bible y'all put me to the booth